That's right, we're back at the start! So, I had an Omega Brain play, right? And, um, for one, thanks my one single commenter talking about the sound effects. Oh, jeez, 9E, what the heck? I don't know what that means. Oh my gosh. You can... Oh. Oh, it's like a sound test. Okay, so I got a I got a comment from a guy. I think it was like Jeremiah Styles or something. Or um Stilts, that's what it was. He was saying that Oh, you know, that's actually really cool. Okay. Um how do I turn it off? Okay, I can turn it off. That's pretty cool. All right. That's really nice. Um for now though, Let's just, uh, talk about what just happened to me. So, I had a fun school project that I had to do, um, and, uh, well, let's just say I, um, screwed up a lot. Hold the phone. Isn't there supposed to be... what? So, you know, here I am in, in level two. That was the that was the password for level two. <laughs> Crap. So I had a I had a project and part of the project involved me recording um I remember exactly what it was too. I was uh recording an Excel file that I had open because I was running like like the some not very important calculations. Honestly, I could have just cropped it in editing, but instead I cropped it on the recording side, which was a really bad idea, because then I played through this level, got far enough to die, and then reloaded to the very start, so I played through it again. That's right, I played through this level, actually not only that, I played through this level and level 3, twice. So, um, third time is really it. Third time really is the charm with me. This seems to happen a lot where I'll have to play through something twice before I actually get my setup proper. But, um, here's hoping at least. I should, right now, currently, tech. Well, I shouldn't have any technical difficulties. Um, because I really ought to be going at a uh, proper. Oh, jeez. These guys. Okay, well, whatever. That's what- oh, yeah, I like how I crouch and then I just, you know, die anyways. Whatever. Fine. Fine, just take away most of my health. Anyways, thanks for the comment, Jeremiah. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I read it, I thought you were telling me that, like, um, those were the friggin' sound options, like how loud it is, and I was about to- I wasn't sure whether to act, like, terribly offended or not, because I am, in fact, a gamer, and therefore I know what, like, BGM stands for. <laughs> but at the same time, I, uh, to be fair, I did, in fact, um, look at the options screen and say, oh, I don't know about all this crap, so, you know. And I'm also playing a game for the Super Nintendo that was released back in the 90s, so... Um, oh, I don't know about all this crap. Fair enough, it's all, uh, it's, it's all, all fair in making fun of the super epic gamer, that's what I am. You don't see you playing the game. Anyways, what else have I been doing? Um, anyways, uh, yeah, let's just, I'm gonna recap, basically, my entire commentary that I did. And it'll be really boring because I'm not putting any emphasis into it this time, but, um... You know, wouldn't it have been nice if the first two were without any difficulty? You know, you know who you're watching right now. And these videos actually get views! <laughs> Why are you even watching? Um, <laughs> yeah, because that's it. Oh, God. Insulting my audience is a great way to keep it, I'm sure. It works for some people. And behold, tits in my good Christian Super Nintendo game. 
Also, since when... Okay, I missed the part in friggin' Theseus's legend where Medusa throws her hair at him. Since when does Medusa throw snakes? Honestly. Um, anyways. So, uh, what, what, what else did I talk about? Ah, oh, right. Um, I mentioned that the crow reminded me of the crows from Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, which I have been playing because I... I'm pretty sure I've mentioned already, or maybe it was in, you know, one of those epic videos that don't, don't exist, um, that I jailbroke my, um, my old Nintendo 2DS, which I'm, I'm being very specific in my terminology there for honestly no reason other than that it is, in fact, the old Nintendo 2DS, um, but... I, I get it jailbroken because, you know, they took down the eShop and it's not like they're going to be giving me anything anymore anyways. And hell, I hadn't touched the dang thing in a while anyways, so, you know, this is a fun way to get uh, some more use out of it by putting freaking Saul Goodman on the home screen. <laughs> um, I'm not going to say that that's all that I've done with it, but uh, for, uh, you know, purposes of saying something that then goes online, yeah, that's all I've done with it. I put Saul, home, Saul Goodman on the home screen and... Uh, did absolutely nothing else with a home broken, home broken, home home brewed, home broken. Oh my gosh, home brewed Nintendo 2DS. It's pretty fun. So, anyways, I've been playing Minish Cap, and it's it makes me a little bit sad with the state of video games. Uh, is the most dramatic way I can put it, in all honesty. But it does kind of make me a little sad about the, the state of modern video games because, uh, I don't know, I'd have to actually look it up and I guess I would also have to do the math to adjust for inflation, but I feel like games used to be a heck of a lot cheaper, but you also got, like, there's a, there's definitely a, like, don't, don't get me wrong, I understand the bank for your buck argument, like, when I, when I go and buy Tears of the Kingdom on the, uh, like, at 11 a.m. at GameStop, right next to my house on May 12th, I, I understand full well that I'm gonna get a whole heck of a lot more time out of Tears of the Kingdom than I ever will out of Minish Cap. I'm already near the boss in Minish Cap. Actually, I, I fought the boss, and he kicked my ass in Stage 3 because body sucks, but... Uh, I, I know I'm gonna get a bit more time out of, um, out of Tears of the Kingdom than I will Minish Cap. And that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, one is a lot more expensive than the other, and, uh, not because I, uh, you know, jailbroke my, my DS or anything. That's definitely not the reason. It's just because, you know, I don't even remember what I, uh, anyways, I don't know, well... But, it, yeah, it's, it's just kind of that, like, I don't, I don't really know what I'm expecting, I guess I'm not, ex I'm not really expecting Nintendo to churn out, like, five-hour games and then give them a $20 price tag. But at the same time, Nintendo also has a tendency to churn out, like, ten, ten, like, ten-hour games and give them a, a like, $60 price tag now, like, they made games that were legitimately just, um, hey, the Switch hardware can do this, and then made them launch titles and tried to justify, a, like, a $70 price, <laughs> which didn't make any dang sense for something like 1-2-Switch. You can, you can act like you're, a, uh, like the, the new fun party game all you want, but, um, no, 1-2-Switch is a, is a, system demo. Let's all be honest here. It's just, um, look at, look at what the, uh, rumblers can do. We put, we put crap in your Joy-Cons, and they can, you know, sense stuff. But, yeah. I, I, I also don't know how much of that feeling, that sentiment that I have is just kind of bias. Um, because I, I grew up with a Game Boy Advance SP, not quite old enough to be a, uh, like, Game Boy or Game Boy Color or even, like, actual Game Boy Advance, but I had a Game Boy. It was just the, like, newest, most recent model of Game Boy possible. 
And I'm not. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if I even really played all that much on it, to be honest. Because I. Let's see. What did I have? I had Leaf Green. I don't think I ever even beat Leaf Green, just because like I was a stupid kid that didn't really know what I was doing. But um, I had it. But like the other games that we had, just because we were. I mean, hell. I'm not going to say that we were poor, but it was a family of six, and if you have four children, as affluent as you are, you don't really feel it. Also, you know what I keep forgetting to do? I keep forgetting to save the game when I hit the new screen, so that's going to start happening a hell of a lot, because I really don't want to have to redo this. But, um... Yeah, oh, what did I just say? I really gotta get my memory checked. I think something's wrong with me. <laughs> but anyways, um... A stupid kid, I never actually finished Leaf Green. But it, it's a good game, it's a fun game. I like the newer Pokemons better, I guess. I've always liked them just a little bit better. Until, you know, after Black 2 and White 2, when Pokemon peaked, afterwards, it's just kind of, eh, you know, they're alright. And then they started being a little bit gimmicky. Not that I don't like, um, like, Mega Evolution, and even to an extent Z-Moves, and, uh, the other stuff, but, like, I don't know if I'm willing to say that it isn't kind of gimmicky, but, you know... That doesn't matter, I'm talking about the Game Boy right now. And the Game Boy... Boy, did it have stuff. Right, I was specifically talking about the games that I had on the Game Boy. So, let's see. I think I had two first-party games. Um... Actually, let me think. I might have had Mario Kart. I might have had Super Mario Kart. It's fully possible. But I don't, I don't actually remember playing it, so... I might not have had Super Mario Kart. That, or I was a stupid kid and I lost Super Mario Kart, that's also a full possibility. Um, I would hope for that to not have been the case, but, you know, I was a stupid kid, so I probably did actually have and then lose Super Mario Kart. I th I'm trying to think about what else I did that with. I've definitely, like, seriously lost- okay, cool, my jump just didn't come out. We're gonna load the game. We're reloading. Tactical reload, fellas. What else was I talking about? Oh, right! Oh my gosh. Well, okay, this is gonna- this is gonna come a bit later. Just, you know, prepare yourself, because I'm about- Seriously, the same dang thing happens. My jump does not come out. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Amazing bout of consistency from this game. One, two, three, four. Cool. Alright, my jump actually came out that time. Super nice. But, anyways. Um... Like, again, I'm not, I'm not disappointed in newer games. It just seems like older games are more fun. But maybe that's the, the love aspect, you know? There's a whole like, a lot more love. And now you just get rebooted crap that nobody really cares about. They just want the money. Something like that. Um, but I don't know if I even really believe that. Like, yeah, I don't think you can really play, like, Super Mario Odyssey. Or, hell, Legend of Zelda, the newer ones, and say that there isn't a whole heck of a lot of love for the series being put into it. Um, I don't think it's a good faith argument. But at the same time, I also wouldn't say that, like, the... Like, Super Mario Odyssey isn't worth the freaking price tag. I don't know. I, In all honesty, I don't know that I would say that a lot of things aren't worth the price tag. Whatever that price tag may be. Um, but it, it, it happens on occasion. And then it, it's just like, as the, as the games generally get bigger, you better justify churning out like uh, like utter garbage and then putting a, a million dollar price tag on it. It's just easier to justify. Now, I'm not saying that it's actually justifiable, but it's a whole heck of a lot easier for a dev to say, like, my um, 
and my garbage is worth 80 bucks because, you know, games on whichever console are just $80. That's just a normal thing. Oh my gosh. I almost fell to my death there. But, hell. Uh, we can sit and maybe argue quality, but, like, if I... I, I would I would buy something that looks like this today if it was like twenty dollars. Um, there are a lot of good games that look like this that come out now because this is a ooh the uh, kill every enemy on screen power. Nice. What was I saying? There are a lot of games like this. This kind of style has been perfected. People know what people want. So, I, I trust this kind of style. I have a lot of love for this kind of style. And I guess the, uh... <laughs> my, my upbringing kind of leads to that more so even than just, like, me actually playing these games. Because I don't think I ever actually touched a Castlevania game in my life up until, um... Well, hell, up until I started playing this, this collection, actually. Oh my gosh, look at all that. Thanks for the hearts, pal. I'm at 99. 99 mana hearts. That's pretty epic. Hearts of mana. I'm at cap. That's cap. Yeah. Um. But, yeah. It, it, okay, that's... Uh, another thing that reminds me of Minish Cap. Okay, that really... You know, Minish Cap doesn't have 3D, but if it did, I'm sure that would happen a lot. And then it would remind me of Minish Cap that that just happened. Ooh, chicken! I'm really uh, enjoying the more liberal placement of health up items in this uh, rendition of the Castlevania game. I'm very much so appreciative of that. Thank you, Konami. Anyways, oh yeah, we're gonna fight. Uh, we're gonna fight a familiar face here. Um, some two-headed thingy, you know. <laughs> I might even, you know what? I actually, I, I kind of wish I had saved the like crappy plesiosaur edit that I used to make the, uh, the freaking, the thumbnail um, for the one. God, which which series was that? I think that was Castlevania Three. The one Castlevania 3 edit that I did, where it's just like the like shittiest three-headed plesiosaur you could ever see. Please tell- okay. Let's just act like that didn't happen. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Oh dang it, I'm the sucker. Well, you know what, I got three things of magic, I can just kind of throw axes. What are they gonna do about it? Not get hit by them? I guess so. Ah, there we go. That's the jump I was trying to do. But yeah, I I think I'll always kind of have a love for the Game Boy. Um, hell if I know why. In all honesty, it's it was just so powerful. The Game Boy actually had more power in it than what put Man on the Moon. You know, the same as a like TI calculator. It's kind of surprising what we went to the moon with. In all honesty. We went to the moon with, like, essentially a potato hooked up to a monitor. Um, that's completely unrelated to what I was talking about. But anyways, uh, yeah. Catch my, like, every single Game Boy Advance game series after the every single Castlevania game series. Yeah, just kidding, I'm never gonna be able to play every single Castlevania game because they don't come out with them in a freaking place I can buy them. Yeah, you know how everybody loves Symphony of the Night? Too bad, you can't get it. I think mean, you could probably get Symphony of the Night on Steam, but there are a lot of Castlevania games that I wish I could play, and it's not like they're going to come out with friggin' like, Castlevania 1.5 Remix or something like that. No, 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 they couldn't. So instead, um, I'm going to have to freaking like, buy a, an original PS1 and a copy of... Uh, uh, Freaking two million dollar original copy of friggin' Symphony of the Night, and then I can play it. Um, or I could do other things, such as I'll brew my 2DS. But it's not like there's a, it's not like there's a PS1 emulator for the 2DS, unfortunately. 
We'll have to worry about that on the next episode. How about that? That sounds like a good idea. That sounds like a really fun idea. Yeah. Anyways, till then, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will whip your freaking skin off. It will come off in chunks. Trust me, I watched The Passion of the Christ. Anyways, goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.